Hi everyone, Mercedes here with She Critiques in Atlanta. Absolutely loved the show. Um, so pretty much, okay, cuffing season is upon us right now. And I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think Megan's character, Camille, is gonna have a lot of women running back to their exes. I'm not, I'm speaking from experience. Um, but I want to know <laughs> from the ladies in the cast, is spinning a block to your ex still taboo or are there rules to going back to your ex? Does it depend on the, like the time frame, maybe? See, or, I'm the person that I always ahead. think, oh, I could be friends with my ex. Or I could be friends with my ex, sure. But then you become friends with them and you realize that they're still in love with you and mm. then it's problematic. So no, so it's a no for me. <laughs> yeah, I kind of I kind of look at at exes just like across the board, whether it's like a romantic relationship or a friendship, like there's a reason why you left or there's a reason why you split. And so I think sometimes in retrospect, when we kind of think uh, uh, when we bring back the memories of that relationship, sometimes it can be the memories can be imbalanced. So we can think of all the horrible things that happened, but sometimes we forget the good or we can think of all the good things that happened, but then we don't remember some of the things that needed work. And so because of that, it makes it a very tricky, sticky circumstance if you want to revisit an old friendship relationship what have you without having uh first revisited all the things and all the reasons why you might have split up or or all of that so i i, I think i i consider it um uh, thin ice and not impossible but you definitely have to have a full scope of the, what the relationship was and what you want it to be now mm. and also i will say that the, it's more common in the queer community that like queer women will be friends with their exes, queer men, like it's like, oh, we all, not me, but in general, <laughs> it's like y'all all hang together and it's, and there's no judgment. I love that. Um, but I definitely do see it more in the queer community than other people. Um, y'all are definitely giving me some notes because I am currently um, riding that bike again. Are you really? Yes, girl. Get oh, your oh my God, we to talk. <laughs> uh, just because right now I am busy and so it's just easier to be like all right this work don't it, occupy my time while talk. I go do other things <laughs> um so I'm listening I'm taking it in and I'm rethinking some some decisions I just made <laughs> <laughs> but I love that yes. though I love that yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> um I'm of the same mind as as Grace I feel like you know uh if if it didn't work before and sometimes you know like you know it can be that the timing wasn't right or it can be many other things but if it's like a combat compatibility thing or you weren't getting or whatever it may be um in that case I'm like mm, yes people can grow and people can change there's that but I think if it didn't work um the first time you might find yourself back in the same situation mm. Perfect. Thank you so much. You're saving a lot of lives with that advice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm laughing at you. And my question is for Tracy, but everybody else is also free to, to chime in if you have something. Um, so we've seen filmmakers in the past or screenwriters in the past use a city as almost like a character. We've seen Spike Lee do it with Brooklyn or John Singleton do it with LA. And with the gentrification going on in Harlem now, what was the idea of using Harlem as almost a character in this? And what was the feeling and experience of filming in Harlem? I fell in love with Harlem, I think maybe 10 plus years ago. And I it was bliggity black then. And just what I loved about it the most, honestly, was when I had Sylvia's and I'm from South Carolina and Sylvia's from South Carolina. And I and I taste it. And I was like, oh, OK, so she this is this is real soul food in Harlem. And that was my initial connection to it. I know that sounds crazy, but I legitimately care about soul food because I'm from the South. <laughs> and the fact that Harlem just casually had like three or four and they were like really, really good. And I was like, oh, like this this city like has like a lot of soul to it. And I just. I felt the Southern influence coming in. I felt just like the richness of the, the history, you know, with the Harlem Renaissance and even the political history of Harlem. It's just like a really rich, important place. And I was not seeing it at all on screen. Like all of the shows that were like New York set were never filming in Harlem. 
they were like strategically filming all around Manhattan, but not filming in Harlem. And I was like, I want to like capture this glory and put it on the air because it deserves respect. It deserves a lot of love. And so it really did become a character in the show for me. And then when I came back um, years later, like a, I guess a, a decade later um, and stayed in Harlem again for a longer period of time, I noticed, I was like, oh, some of the soul that I remember when I was younger is, is leaving. It's looking a little different. And the feeling that I had when I was initially there, it was still there, but changing. And in the writer's room, there was this compass. It was like a compass real estate ad. And it had two white men sitting on a brownstone stoop. And it was like, the, I think it was like, welcome to Harlem was the, the tagline. And it got a lot of heat. I, and we were like, oh my gosh, this is so brazen. So we were like, okay, we have to deal with gentrification and we have to just call it out because it's just, we love it, but it's definitely changing. The city is changing and we have to acknowledge the gentrification and the loss of culture and the, the loss of some of the community feel that was there. But um, I, it's still a love story to Harlem and I still very much love the city, but I feel like you can't really talk about it today without acknowledging that the Harlem residents are fighting to hold on to it too.